Hello everyone. It's Monday morning uh, and people uh, tend not to like Mondays, although I, I do. got a huge list here of things I want to get achieved this week. Uh, I don't know how you manage it, but I always start off with a paper list uh, and try and break those down into easy, manageable chunks for each day. But today I thought I'd do a little bit of coaching around Instagram. And uh, what I've done is I've given you a copy of my phone on the screen. That's cool when you move it around. Uh, I'm going to take you through some ways to spice up your Instagram stories. Now, we all know that Instagram stories are huge. Uh, they become more popular than ever. Uh, they're just a, a great way of consuming content in short, bite-sized chunks. Uh, you can put your phone down. You can be doing whatever you want. And you can be listening to stories and just keep you know, occasionally glancing. They're just nice and consumable. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to kind of spruce those up a bit with a bit of uh, movement and uh, good use of font and imagery. So we're going to use something called Adobe Spark Post. So if you look on the second row of my apps, you'll see that uh, two yellow apps on the right. We've got Spark Post and Spark Video. We're not going to look at Spark Video today. Uh, I'm not that impressed with it, actually. In terms of putting video together, I think there's, I think Apple Clips is better. but. Uh, I'm going to give it another try, but we're going to concentrate today on something called Spark Post. So I'll click on that. And so what it gives you is if anybody's ever used Canva on their phone or, or even Canva on their desktop uh, for doing graphic design,
little movement to it. So down at the bottom right hand side, you'll notice there's a, something, two uh, circles, and it says effects, click on that. And then what I've got is I've got, I'm already on animation and I'm already on text. If I go along, I've then got photo animation. So let's animate the text first. So if I click on the next box, Ooh, that kind of just comes in. That's quite nice. And that one rocks in. I'm not so sure. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's nice. That's more like a speech bubble. And then if I go to photo, I've got a couple of different options there. That's quite nice. Zooming in. Let's try something else. Sliding in. Mm, yeah, I like that. We've got going from black and white or grayscale into color. It's quite nice. Mm. Actually, I'm kind of inspired by the grayscale to color. I'm going to change the title. So I'm going to hit done there. Click on the text. Double click it. I'm going to put bring Insta. Insta's got a capital. Instagram to life. Done. Okay, so it's put the text in. It sized it for me, which is lovely. Hit done. Okay, so let's have a look how that. Oh, didn't really mean to move that image, but it's back in anyway. Uh, let's have a look at what else we can do. I'm not going to change the design. You can, uh, if you're part way through, it's just not working the way you want it. You can just go and design and just totally, it takes what you've done and just redesigns it into different configurations, repurposes it. Uh, also, if I hit the resize button now, I could change that for lots of different options. If I wanted to make it a Facebook ad, uh, if I wanted to make it Instagram story again, uh, if I wanted to make it a uh, profile cover photo or Facebook page cover, or event cover, it does all the sizes you need. So we're gonna go back to Instagram story. There we go, all ready to rock, hit done. Once you're ready and you've got it the way you like, what you need to do is go to the top right hand corner and click share. And then you've got two options. You can go video or you can go image, no animation. What I always do is I download both. Uh, because I might want to use that movement that I've already placed in there, but I also might want to use it as a still and apply some other text over the top of it later. So I'm going to take video first, and it creates the video for me. And I'm going to just save that video onto my camera roll. Now what I'm going to do is hit the share button again. I'm going to take image, no, no video there. I'm just going to save that as an image. And we're done. So even with me showing you how to use the app, it still hasn't taken me long. And the more you do this, the quicker you get. So let's come out of that app now. Let's look for Instagram. So we're going to Instagram. Come off my story. Okay, so add into your story, quite straightforward. Firstly, you can have more than one page on Instagram. So don't make the mistake I've made loads of times and you spend all that time designing something, then go and post it to the wrong channel. So if you have got more than one channel, if you hold your uh, finger or thumb on the uh, profile image in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll bring up both. But Bloomin' HQ is the right one for us. Click on the home button, top left-hand corner, hit the camera icon, and it'll go to the camera, hello. Uh, and if I just swipe up with my thumb in the middle of the screen, it will then pull up my downloads I've made. So you'll notice the two there, one's got four seconds on it, and then the other one's just a color image. So I'm gonna hit the video one first. And you can see it actually does it there and then. A little tip for you, rather than just posting that, I know you've designed it and you're eager to get it out, but what you, you need to do is think about using hashtags. They do get you a lot more views on your content if you choose the right one. So I'm gonna to click uh, top center, which is the sticker button, and then you'll notice uh, sixth one down, so second row, third one along, I've got hashtags, so if I hit that, now if I put in here Instagram, yeah, Instagay, there's all sorts, Instaday, Instadaily, there's loads coming up, I'm just gonna select Instagram. Now, I don't like the color of it, it just looks awful, so if I just tap it, I can kind of, more match my design. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink that down as small as I can make it. 
Now this hashtag is read by the software behind Instagram. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it, drag it right down to that bottom corner there. So it's on there, but it's hidden away. I'm going to do one final check of my story, make sure there's no spelling mistakes. And it all looks like I want it to. And then I've got a couple of options here. I could download it at this stage. I can share it directly to my story or I could send it to someone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share it direct to my story. Hit story, off it goes. Now you'll notice the stories along the top. They've all got the colored circle around them. That means that they're unseen by me. So it means that somebody's got story from the last 24 hours and it's unread. So I'm just going to click on mine just to check it. There we go. And it comes to life. Boom, goes color and then goes back to gray. So it'll just keep rotating around. It just adds a little bit of life to an otherwise very still image. So a little tip now, we use that video, but you remember I downloaded the still. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that still now to add a little bit more life to this. So I'm going to hit the camera icon on the top left-hand corner. Oh, sorry, I felt like I was going to sneeze there. Swipe up in the middle of my screen. And remember we have the still, so I'm going to bring the still in by tapping it. And what I can do now is actually bring this still to life with some, some bits of uh, text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the text button top right -hand corner. And I'm going to give three little tips. So first tip is use Adobe Spark. And I'll add a little spark at the end there. In fact, it's replaced the word spark, so I'm just going to bring that back in, press the space, and then hit the spark. Nice. Now, very new to Instagram, you'll notice at the top I've got the A, uh, I've got the justification on the top left, I've got the A in the box, and I've got classic. So if I tap on classic now, I can change these. I quite like that one. Uh, you'll notice the A has now got some stars in it, so I'm just going to tap that, so I can have it like that or like that. So I like that. I'm going to go with our corporate color. And I quite like that it already had the justification. And I'm going to go with central justification, actually. I think it'll look nice. Tap anywhere on the screen. Grab that, and I'm going to make it nice and central, like that. So what I'm going to do now is, before I share this to my story, I'm going to hit the Save button, and I'll show you why in a second. So hit Save. tells me it's saved. Add to Story. Off it goes. Click the camera again. Drag up. And because we saved that, I can actually bring it back up. There we go. And what I can do is add some more text now. Our second tip. Uh, so what do we have as our, our second tip? Uh, tip? Use lists like this. Nice little tip, and I'm going to put a little smiley on the end of that. In fact, now I'm going to put a little fire. There we go. Drag it down. I'm going to just change that now. So if you remember, we clicked on classic, and we turned it into type. And then we hit the little A, and we're just going to change the color. I'm going to stick that in the center like that. Now, don't get too eager at this stage and try and just post that straight out. And remember, you've got to save it if we want to add the third one in. There we go, so I've saved it, and now I'll post it to my story. Go again to the camera, swipe up in the middle. I can see the ones that have got two in, select one. Lovely, it's exactly what I want. I'm going to add in some more text now. This is going to be the final of my uh, three, three uh, item list. So three. So what I would say is my little tip here is save content for, oh no, in repurpose content is probably the right term. I've got to make this fail, otherwise it's going to look awful, awful. Repurpose content. There we go. Hit, uh, oh, I'm not going to hit return. I'm going to hit done. Drag that down underneath. Select the, con uh, the text again. Change it to typewriter. Highlight it in my corporate color. Drag it to the center like so. Just make sure that's not central, so let's redo it. That's better. There we go. 
Damn, that looks good. I'm going to save that again because I might want to use this somewhere else. So save. And then add it to my store. Give it a couple of seconds whilst it uploads. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to tap back on the left-hand side. Okay, tap forward again. Right, so there was the original video that we created in uh, Adobe Spark. It goes from grey to colour. And then my list starts to come alive. Use Adobe Spark. Use lists like this. Repurpose content. Done. Dusted. Now, you see how quick and easy that was. Anybody can do it. All it takes is a phone, a few ideas, and Adobe Spark, which is a fantastic program, uh, which is free to download. So give that a try. I'd be interested to know how you get on with it. And if you have posted in stories, let me know, and I'll come across and have a look. And uh, uh, I hope you find it as useful as I've found it. Take care. Oh, and if you know anybody that needs any social media help, invite them to this group. I'm trying to build this group up so we get more conversation going. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.